Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoyt. They're a convenient, comfortable way to experience a new city or a way to bring in a little extra income. But now those short-term rentals like Airbnbs have a few extra rules to follow in Little Rock. Tonight, two owners spoke with THV 11's Jalissa Garza about the new regulations and whether they'll hurt or help. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Nay. New regulations for short-term rentals are on the way after the Little Rock Board of Directors voted yes on a new ordinance Tuesday night. Eyes have it. Going forward, only 500 Airbnbs and Verbos will be allowed in the city, and owners will be required to pay a $500 annual fee for an inspection. They could also lose their business license if three police complaints are reported against their rental within a year. I usually stay in SCRs when I travel. Uh, but, I, but I think there needs to be some sort of regulation, and I think this is a good starting point. Short-term rental owners like Maya Foreman also agree regulations are a good thing, but not these. The $500 for an annual inspection is excessive. Um, that is not an equitable approach to small business owners like myself. She says she's worried that this will hurt her business, one that she started to provide for her family. So we can have the income and supplement what I wasn't bringing home and be able to uh, be present and provide in the life care for my mother, which was the utmost importance at that time. Other owners like Paul Dodds already taking action to make sure they can keep their short term rentals up and running. If there's only 500 of them, I want to make sure that uh, I can uh, get in on it. But he also worries these regulations could hurt the business entirely. After going through all this hassle to get a license, you can lose it at a heartbeat because someone complains. A lot of people are going to go out of business and a lot of people are going to lose their livelihoods. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. Jalissa, thank you. And members of the city board did say that even though they passed the ordinance last night, they'd be open to revisiting it and making amendments if they have to.